Sir Desmond Swain. Mr. Speaker, in a typical winter's day, between 200 people and 350 people will die of flu. Do we hide behind our masks? Do we lurk at home, working from home? Do we demand that people prov provide their bona fides before going to a, a venue? Do we require people to be vaccinated as a condition of keeping their jobs? The question is whether the, the measures before us today are proportionate actually comes down to a matter of opinion. Do you take seriously some of the extraordinary extrapolations that we've been given, particularly b given the record of before? The fact that these are things that might take place, and we have to balance that against the known costs and damage to enterprise, economy and society. And in the end, it comes down to a matter of opinion, a matter of our prejudice. And we are typically capable of organising our lives and making those decisions for ourselves. We decide what our risk appetite is and what we're prepared to encounter and what we're prepared to not. Notwithstanding the carnage on our roads, certainly killing more people than COVID at the moment, some of us still decide to drive. It's a matter of opinion. So it comes down to letting loose the dogs of war. Get the fear factor into it. Get the members of the officials, the members of SAGE, the members of Independent SAGE, of Spy M, all those, of course, speaking in their own private capacity. Get them out there twisting the fear lever. What about the, um, in the, the uh, Health Protection Agency? What, what Stalinist minds thought up that nomenclature? Get them out there twisting the fear button and by and large, you will get the reaction that you want. People will crave more enforcement and more fiercer measures to protect them from this great danger that is out there. And let hospitality be just collateral damage. Let them endure the deluge of cancellations now affecting that industry in what should be its most productive time. That's the situation that we have delivered. The government, having administered this Ministry of Fear, of Fear, is absolutely complicit with its officials and its organisations that have designed it and delivered it. They have abandoned in doing that any principle of social democracy, of liberal democracy, absolutely beyond, beyond anything that we've endured in recent living memory in the history of this uh, pandemic. And as a consequence, having abandoned what might have been their ideology, they are rudderless. And as a consequence of that, so much more at risk of the opinions and predictions of the advisers to which they are in hock.